Hello everyone, welcome to the April vlog. I'm presenting solo today without our pal because I'm down at the garden doing some garden jobs um, and she's skiving basically. No, she's not, she's working at home um, and I'm down here on my own and I just thought that um, I would give you a bit of a tour of the garden. Quite a few people have asked um, to know a bit more about our cutting garden and uh, how we grow and what we grow. Um, and it's a beautiful day today. It feels like maybe it will get a bit warmer <laughs> soon. It's been a very cold spring. Um, but yeah, so I thought I'd just kind of walk you around and show you where we are um, and give you a kind of feel for um, how we grow our flowers. Um, so yeah, come along for the journey. So I've just been talking to you in the um, shelter, which is this sort of wooden um, lean-to that we had made so that we could, um, oh, it's very dark in there, um, condition the flowers um, after we'd cut them. So bring the flowers in here and they all get conditioned um, so that they're out of the sun in the summer. Um, and then this is um, uh, a shipping container, a small shipping container that we um, bought and we've um, renovated the inside of it. I might save the inside for another day uh, because it's not brilliantly tidy <laughs> at the moment. Um, but we've sort of uh, lined all the walls with plywood um, and it's very cool. It's a nice shooting space and it's a good place to have lunch in. Um, so that's there. And then we come around the corner here. This is the sort of entrance to the garden at the back here. We've got a small polytunnel um, here, which is basically our propagation tunnel. So um, that's where all the seedlings live when it's a little bit colder and, and before the last frost. So they're all kind of kept in there. Um, so they're nice and protected. I'll take you in and show you what we've got at the moment. It's not particularly full at the moment. We've got some stuff coming on, which will be potted up into here today. Um, these are little cosmos plants. We've got some marigold, some sweet peas. But yeah, usually this is full of plants in here. A lot of them have already been planted out, so it's a little bit empty. We've got some veg coming up. Yum, yum. Um, yeah, so that's that. And also sort of general storage of stuff. There's a lot of stuff when you're gardening, growing flowers. Um, right, so this is the first um, section of the garden. And this was the section that we started with when we started growing flowers here. So um, we started in about 2015-16 um, and we started with, with a really tiny um, little plot which um, you can't see the footprint of it anymore but it was basically sort of um, Oh, that's a train, by the way. So we're right next to the railway line to Waterloo. Hello, people on the train. Um, always seem to be near a train. Our studio is under um, the tube line in London. So there's always trains around us. Um, but yeah, the first kind of footprint that we started with with the garden was here. Um, this was the outer bed. There's still some plants in there that were there originally. And these two, um, these are old um, spokes, you know, um, from farm machinery and um, these two wheels and they've got rambling roses on them. And that was actually the back of our original plot. Um, so it's obviously grown quite a bit since then. And also it goes further um, around the tunnels, so I'll show you the other side as well. But yeah, this is this is what we kind of call the uh, kitchen garden, really, or we're starting to call it the kitchen garden because we grow lots of herbs. Um, so these beds are all herbs. This is some newly planted up beds that I've done recently. 
not the train. <laughs> um, so we've got sort of um, mint and um, oregano and some lavender um, and um, yeah, so the cardoons, these get absolutely enormous um, in the summer. So there's herbs over here um, and then this section is dahlias and the tulips, which are coming, um, not coming to an end. Some of them are over, some of them coming back up. Um, from previous years, we plant kind of old bulbs in the tulip beds. So um, you can see they're coming up there and these little things that look like molehills are in fact dahlias, which we hope very much, fingers crossed, are still alive. <laughs> Um, yeah, so that's, so this is a kind of sort of kitchen garden-y type vibe up this end. Um, this is a new hazel structure, which is going to have runner beans on that my husband has made, which is rather beautiful actually. I'm very impressed with his hazeling, coppicing. Um, this is all veggies, so we're looking forward to those. And then I'll just walk you down. Here, around the corner. So these are our two tunnels. We have T, well, T2 and T3, because <laughs> uh, T1 is the little one at the end. So T2 is pretty big. She's, mm, I mean, big for a you know small scale cutting garden. She's, I want to say 17 meters. Might actually be longer than that. Um, and we've got these kind of uh, fencing. So this is Harris uh, security fencing, um, which I put in here because this is where we grow sweet peas and um, various kind of vines um, during the summer. So this gets incredibly high um, with growth and they kind of go right up to the ceiling. I'll show you some of the sweet peas on the other side. And also we grow other peas, golden peas and beans and things like that in here. So these, um, this fencing kind of stays in and it's great. It's been brilliant um, and it's nice and secure even in the windy weather. Um, so here we've got our sweet peas starting to come up. These beds are also kind of chock-a-block full of other things. We've got loads of self-sown poppies. They're lined with... Um, Narcissus bulbs, which love it in here because it's super dry and super, um, uh, not too soggy, you know, in the winter. So they really like it and they're th kind of thriving in here. They've been in here two or three years now. Um, and yeah, lots of other things, lots of other self-sown um, little treats like delphiniums. I'm becoming a lot more relaxed about leaving stuff to do its thing basically and um, if I'm not so uptight about getting everything tidy I actually end up with loads more flowers and beautiful things that have self-seeded that I wouldn't have expected um, so that's been a good lesson in growing uh, and this is T3 which is much smarter <laughs> T2 was uh, gifted to us um, and uh, the frame was gifted to us and then we reclad it, needs a really good clean, reclad it with um, plastic, but T3 is the real deal. And this was a brand new, very smart tunnel, which I love. Um, and this is slightly shorter than T2. Um, and in here we have, well, we will have uh, lots of annuals and um, chrysanthemums, some ranunculus that have kind of been left in. I'm probably going to move the ranunculus into here and grow them in here um, amongst the chrysanthemums. Um, and we'll also have things like marigolds and zinnia and it all becomes a bit of a mishmash, uh, which is how we like to grow. Um, and then you can see on the other side, there's the annuals um, down there. So some of them were sown in the autumn and then some of them were sown in the spring 
so you can see some little babies coming up, which is not another. <laughs> uh, yeah, so that's T3. Sorry, this is a kind of whistle stop tour, but I've got loads of planting jobs to get on with, so we've got to be quick. Um, and then this is the kind of main growing part. So this is the perennial garden. Um, this is, these are all perennial plants. We've got shrubs, um, we've got roses. Um, these are very happy. They've had a lovely spring, lots of rain to set them up for the summer, which I'm really pleased about. Um, and then shrubs in here, which are all looking really beautiful. Lots of things like geraniums coming up. And um, these are all kind of shorter um, perennials. There's also bulbs planted in amongst them. So I'm kind of building up these beds year on year. This section was planted in 2020, the year of the pandemic. And we did a lot of gardening and got all of these plants in. So this was part of that field before we put it in and then we created all of these beds and this is the kind of larger perennial section so these um, beds kind of die right down in the winter and then as you can see they're all starting to come up again now we've got all alliums in there and grasses and you know some of this will be I mean t towering above our heads uh, in a couple of months so and this is the last section that <laughs> needs tidying um, and gets done during the winter. So um, these beds are nice. These are nice and tidy. I can show you these ones. <laughs> um, it's all geraniums and hydrangea. Um, and yeah, lots of gorgeous things coming up in there. And my job over the next couple of weeks is to get those final beds weeded and get them mulched. So that's that, that's the shrubs, looking good. As I said, these are like mm, two or three years old now. So they're getting to be a nice size. Um, yeah, I'll just walk down the end and show you from the other end. Um, but yeah, do um, leave us any comment, you know, if you've got anything specific that you want to ask about are growing um, then please leave us a comment and um, I will try and get back to you and let you know I think we grow um, in a you know I think everyone grows in a particular way given whatever circumstances they have and the land that they they um, can sort of get their hands on or you know that they own or they rent we actually rent our plot so um, there was nothing here when we started at all. Um, so we've kind of created it in the last seven or eight years. It's been a labor of love, but um, definitely more love than labor. And, um, and we get to grow these incredibly beautiful, special varieties that we get to arra make arrangements with. So it's just brings us a lot of joy. I hope you've enjoyed that. I hope you enjoy the rest of the April vlog as well. Mainly bits from the garden. Well, it's quite amazing actually how much it's changed in the last month. This is the month when it really gets going down here and uh, the momentum starts building. So yeah, I um, hope you've enjoyed that. And uh, we'll see you in the next one. Thank you.